Budget season is underway in Harrisburg and with us this morning to discuss what is sure to be a busy month up at the Capitol is York County Democrat Carol Hill Evans. Uh, thank you so much uh, for joining us this morning. I want to start there and, and here we are. It's, it's just about the start of June. Take us inside the Democratic caucus room. What are some of the, the, the key points that uh, Democrats are, are saying, you know, what, this has to be in the budget and some of the points that maybe uh, are, are more willing to negotiate on? Well, the first thing, first of all, thank you for You're being welcome. here. No, no, I come no. empty handed because I said the last time that I was going to come with That's your right. chocolate chip Oh, you shouldn't have. Oh, cookies. Carol. <laughs> and I didn't. That's OK. I'm back. Next time. Next time. Yes. So anyway, um, what's inside the caucus room? Um, education. Education is, is very important um, to all of our students. And we understand that um, we have to figure out where those dollars are going to go. Um, and so one bill that was recently passed is a little concerning, and that's the one for the increase in the um, EITC and OSTC, uh, the tax credits mm -hmm. um, for those businesses who want to, um, in lieu of paying 75 to 90 percent of their taxes, they can um, put those dollars into a business or into a school and then allow other children that wouldn't normally uh, be able to go to those schools Opp uh, opportunity scholarships S to go. So to the attend. governor, and we're showing this right now, the governor uh, wanted a $200 million increase in education mm -hmm. spending. That's going to be the key thing. Another area that really a lot of people have been focused on is a minimum wage hike, and that yes. is uh, maybe a little bit more of a chillier uh, response. How do you go about that and maybe not necessarily getting everything that you want and, and trying to negotiate uh, a minimum wage increase? Well, we have to weigh what is going to give us the best bang for the bucks that we do have that are available to us. Um, and so so yes, minimum wage is, is critically important. And while we were hoping for a 15 and we're still working towards that 15, um, if we can negotiate uh, somewhere between the, the original 10, 10 and the 15, so maybe landing at around 12 an hour, I think that that would be very important to all of us, not just Democrats or Republicans, but to all of our residents. The budget due at the uh, start of July. I want to switch gears to something that mm -hmm. uh, recently, uh, as a member of the Legislative Black Caucus, a number of bills were recently introduced to discuss police use of uh, deadly force. And this all comes after what happened in Pittsburgh with yeah. the Antoine Rose, Michael Rosfeld situation. What is the biggest disconnect that you have seen uh, that from the black community and police officers, law enforcement, what's the biggest disconnect there that, that would lead to these bills being introduced? I would say the first thing that we see is that a lot of the, the cases are not being solved. So while we're losing our children on the streets, nobody is taking accountability for that. Not being solved or ignored? Not being solved, ignored, not cooperating. Um, it has to come from both sides. And so we have to, if we see something, we have to say something not to be a snitch, but just to resolve those issues. Um, and then communication, you know, uh, being visible, our police being visible in our neighborhoods, not in a threatening way, but in a way that they want to know what our neighbors are asking for, what they're looking for, what their concerns are. So for me, community policing is huge, and it has to be not community policing where you see a police car riding around in your block, but you actually see those police with their feet on the ground, knocking on doors, introducing themselves, making the, the communities safer so because a, of their presence. There's a lot of people who look at kind of what happens in, in these situations, and presumably plenty of uh, lawmakers in, in Harrisburg as well that say, there's, law enforcement isn't doing anything wrong, they're protecting. If you're being stopped, don't run. Uh, what's your kind of response uh, to, to that kind of uh, response, if, if you will? If, if you're not doing anything wrong, you have no reason to run, is the theory. However, there's just this mindset that if you're in a black community and the police are there and they're chasing you, what are you going to do? Just stand there and get shot. So again, communication. For me, it has to be communication. Uh, the more, I think the more communities see police um, in their community, working with them, talking to them, helping them to resolve issues, educating them um, on what it is they have to do, I think it, it helps. How do you convince people in Harrisburg that there is a problem, though? Oh, we recognize that there is a problem. You recognize it. Yeah. There's a large chunk of people who don't recognize it. Or don't want to admit that there is one. Um, I, I think it, 
we just keep talking about it. If they really don't believe that there's a problem, then we need to, it's, on, it's incumbent on us to educate them, to let them know, to take them into these communities where these uh, violent acts are occurring. Staying with police officers, shifting gears to school safety, you, mm -hmm. you're proposing a bill uh, that would increase training for school police officers, yes. basically saying that the, the current line of training, state police, municipal uh, police training, isn't adequate mm -hmm. enough. What, what is the difference between what is currently being done for training and, and what needs to happen? What needs to happen is that our, uh, our school police officers, school police officers, um, need to be more sensitive to what the children are going through. Um, I visited York Suburban. I listened to all of these concerns that our students have. In, when I was in 11th grade, I didn't have to worry about somebody coming into the school shooting. And that's, that's what these children are. And they just need to know that these children have very real concerns and listen to them because they have, they're brilliant. They really do. They have a lot of resolutions that we might not think of as adults, and these are things that they want to see. Great discussion. Carol Hill Evans, your county Democrat. Thank you so thank much you. for uh, joining us this morning. It's always well, good to be here. Thank the, you. The, oh, great having you back. And make <laughs> sure you bring the white chocolate chip I cookies will. next I time. I will. <laughs> uh, we'll have everything on our website, fox43.com, and uh, we will be right back with more Fox 43 Morning News.